What is it about diamonds? You know, an eternal symbol of love, commitment, and trust. Diamonds, three billion years in the making, formed through the pressure of time and transformed with the eruption of volcanoes in the mantle of Earth's core. And as I said yesterday, 130-year-old industry boasting an incredible set of numbers. Rough diamonds are mined annually at $15 billion. And of course, as they run through the process of the supply chain, they're transformed into $72 billion in retail sales. But how can we trust diamonds? International headlines are plagued with stories of fraud, document tampering, synthetic stones, black markets, and conflict stones. The romance that we had with the industry is seriously compromised. And so we've got to think about what went wrong. What's the system that was in place or wasn't in place that enabled this to happen? What broke? And currently, there's a lack of visibility along the supply chain. We're unable to really source provenance from its core through to the retail network. But let's think about what provenance means. It's the history of something. It's the origin. And of course, without provenance, we don't know where an item's come from. We don't know who owned it. And we don't know the value of it. In the entire life story of an item, in the world of luxury goods, provenance matters. Because you cannot separate the value of an item from its origin and its history. And diamonds, just like all luxury goods, rely upon records of origin, identity, custody, to prove authenticity and provenance. And underpinned by this is a paper-based certification system. And the industry has exposed itself to cases of document tampering, synthetic stones, and double financing of the pipeline. Now, in some regions, they've even compromised the ability to give transparent tax. Now, in the US alone, insurance fraud accounts for $40 billion a year in luxury goods. So using the very best of emerging technologies of blockchain, smart contracts, machine vision, and yesterday we showed you what we did with IBM Watson and AI, we've built a platform that enables us to be able to bring greater transparency to the open marketplaces and global supply chain by ensuring that the authenticity of the asset is secured and stored amongst all industry participants. Now, I'm here to tell you today about how the blockchain is reimagining the world's luxury goods supply chain. And what does this mean in terms of the world beyond diamonds? So here's what we did. We integrated the supply chain onto the same digital network, creating a single version of the truth for all parties involved in the diamond trade, with shared records visible across the industry participants. Assets can be both digital and physical. Now, in the world of diamonds, we have both. The certification process is the central authority to the industry itself. And certification is the currency of our industry. So the physical assets we can transpose into a digital form, taking the digital incarnation of the object as well as the laser inscription, we're able to put 40 metadata points and the link to the girdle on the stone into the blockchain. Now, once the asset is uploaded into the chain, the record is permanent and cannot be changed. It becomes the object identity. And the digital record now becomes proof of authenticity, relied upon by multiple stakeholders across the supply chain to prove provenance. Now, we started with diamonds and we brought the technology forward to a once opaque industry. And this marketplace today resides on the Everledger network with 1.2 million diamonds secured on the blockchain. We know that within the next number of years, that number will go from 1.2 to around 15 million. Now, if we can accomplish this in the world of luxury goods with the highest problems in fraud and theft and trafficking, there's no telling how far we can go. Now, just like Amazon started with books, Everledger began with diamonds. But we have the opportunity to reshape technology and bring together the very best on a global network. And of course, at the very core of where we've come from, what's really important is around the pillars of trust, transparency, and sustainability. And all thanks to bringing together the technology. 
Now, I've been speaking over the last day or so about the story of diamonds, the story of provenance, what does it mean? But what I've not shared with anybody is the story of Everledger. So I did say two years ago, we wrote on the back of a napkin and we imagined what the world might do when we brought provenance and transparency to important asset and items. But what I didn't do when I reimagined what the future possible could be is I didn't really think about what it would take to build the skyscraper of Everledger, to take the idea of Everledger and turn it into a forever company. You know, I'm in my mid-40s, so this is my last startup. I actually made that public declaration on LinkedIn. I had to promise my family that that was the case. <laughs> so it was like an intervention when I went home one year for Christmas and they all got together and said, we've all spoken, we know, that we know it's okay, you can go and do this. So off I went. But as I sat there and I really began to understand what it would take to not only mature the protocol of blockchain and also spread the love around, or spread the word, around the industry of what this potentially could mean to be a transformative technology, it occurred to me the size of the army of engineers that I would need to realise this dream. You know, we're a startup that's two years old. We've been humbled by our success in that two years. And we want to be sure that this platform can be realised before I get to a nursing home. So how do we do this? Besides going out and raising significant venture capital money, which isn't the way we want to do this. We really want to understand the tooling. We want to get deep beneath the surface. We want to become intimate with the industry. And we want to be able to be there and start to frame out what these tools are able to do. To co-evolve the diamond industry is exactly what we've done. There's no possible way that we could enter into this market thinking that we could be another disruptive startup. We set out upon that journey and we realized over the period of two years, four operational centers with Everledger and 25 staff. That's the size of our little foot soldier army that sits beneath the surface of Everledger. And yet look at what we've materialized. We've taken some significant disciplines of technology and armed them together. So what you will see today is beneath the hood. We're really going to let you see all of the tooling that has been afforded to us as developers to enable us to truly deliver a global platform of transactional trust. So it's with great pleasure that I leave you with a moment of realization. So please, today, take a moment to turn what I did into thinking, I can, I will, and with these tools, I did. Thank you.